All right, and I'm back. And I'm gonna need to make this video fairly quick because my five-year-old saw that I have clay in the house and he wants it. So I'm gonna make this um, stamp tutorial for you and then I'm probably gonna give him this clay so he can play with it. All right, so another tool that you can make, and you can make actually several of these, is a clay stamp. So some examples. This is a clay stamp. Look, I've marked it so I know which end is up and I've even created a handle. And sometimes I just create a little flat stamp like this that I can press into a surface. And there I have a really cool design. Um, I might want a certain shape, so I might carve a stamp. And then I have like a heart shape or something like that. And sometimes I just use different textures from tools that I see. Um, and I use those to um, to create some interesting patterns. With a stamp, what you need to remember is anything that is lower or carved down is going to create a raised line in your clay. Um, anything that is sort of the surface, the top surface is going um, to press down. So for instance, on this, the lines are gonna create a raised surface and the flat areas are going to be pressed down like that. So to make your own clay stamp, um, a couple ways to do this. Take a ball of clay. When you open your bag, make sure that you just take a little bit out and then that you close back up that bag really good and tight so your clay doesn't dry out before you need it again. Um, if you're worried about it, take a little couple drops of water and just sprinkle just a couple drops of water in the bag before you close it up. Okay, I'm going to take a ball of clay. I'm going to roll it ball of clay. So I'm going to make another stamp kind of like this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll that with just one finger and this creates a pretty nice little handle for my stamp. And then I want a flat surface to work with. So I'm going to press this down into the table. I'm going to use the table surface, even kind of pinching it to create a more interesting handle because then I could actually, I'll know which end is up and which end is down when I press it into my clay. I'm going to do that. I'm gonna smooth out that surface. And now I could go ahead and I could take any of my tools that I might have around me. Um, if you've already made your like your loop tool, you could use that. If you find some things just laying around the house, you could use those. I could do something where I use my scoring tool to create some lines and get those little boogers out of the way. Um, I could take something and stamp into this. Um, you can use your wooden tools to carve a design. But once I have um, once I have created my stamp, I might take a little extra time to kind of make sure all my lines are really nice and clean and maybe uh, deep. You want them a little bit deeper so they can really create a good impression in the clay. So I'm gonna refine that a little bit any other little spots like the edges, I might kind of smooth those edges so they curve a little bit away from the flat surface. And there would be an example of a stamp. It's a little wonky because I wasn't really planning this one out. Um, something like this, I took um, a needle tool. You could use your paper clip needle tool and I carved in those lines. Or you could use your wooden um, stick that I gave and carve lines and then just kind of clean up those lines when you're all done. And this is how to make a handled um, handled stamp. If you use your fingers to create impressions so that you know where to, to um, hold it, then you can kind of determine this is gonna be the top, this is gonna be the bottom, and I could refine that shape a little bit more. So there's an example of a stamp with a handle. Um, when this dries, completely dry, bone dry so that there's no moisture, I could actually test it out on another piece of clay. Um, another way to do this, I'm gonna make a little round medallion. I'm gonna roll a ball of clay. I'm gonna squish the ball of clay. And then I have that nice flat surface. Helps to have a little bit of water. Put a tiny bit of water on your fingers. That's all you might need. But if you're working with fresh clay, you probably don't need, I'm working with pretty dry clay, but you guys will be working with fresh clay if this is your first thing you're doing with clay, really, um, after that very brief stages of clay, clay project. Okay, so I've smoothed out. Make sure you're nice and smooth. I'm gonna stamp that one more time to get that nice flatness. 
And so now I'm going to create some kind of pattern. And the hazards of working at home is that occasionally you will have a child asking you for a treat. And the answer is yes, Charlie, you can have it. You can have a treat so that mom can finish her video. Okay, so I'm gonna create this pattern. The ends of things are great. Try ends of different pens. Um, you could try um, some silverware. Sometimes silverware has some pretty interesting shapes. I'm gonna smooth out those lines. And then there I have another stamp pattern. So this one would just be a flat one. I'm gonna try to smooth that out a little bit. So just be a flat stamp that I would put, um, press into. You could create different shapes. You don't have to create a circle. So let's say I'm going to smush this flat, create a ball, smush it flat, and then maybe I wanna create a different shape. Maybe I want like a, a little more of a rhombus. And you could plan this out, maybe make a sketch in your sketchbook first about what kind of shape you want. It's not a terribly um, perfect rhombus, but now I could create some lines and create some pattern on the surface of my rhombus shape. So I could then create like an interesting checkerboard because this would be something that I could repeat over and over again. I could kind of interlock it with its own shape. So I want everyone to try at least one stamp, but if this is something that you think you might like, um, I'm gonna attach a link for an artist named Sarah Pike who uses lots of stamps in her works. I would recommend you check them out. Um, and um, if you like working with stamps, you have some clay. Don't, don't use it all up on stamps right now, but you could probably make three or four different stamps that you might use on some upcoming slab projects that you'll be doing at home. Uh, you can use them when they are bone dry. So these have been fired once. These are bisque fired, um, but I have used stamps when they are just completely dry. They're a little more fragile, um, but you can use them. After these have been bone uh, completely dried out to bone dry, um, I will talk with the class about how to turn in your work so that you can bring this in. I can pop it in the kiln and fire it and get it back to you. Um, as a tool that you can use. Maybe by then we'll be in person. Um, but otherwise, that's your um, clay stamp tutorial. Um, go, go forth and make some stamps. Good luck, everyone.